Carolina. Speaking of Langley, Virginia, she's a young racer. Diane, why don't you introduce this young lady that you got um, right here? Yes, we have Alicia Potter. Uh, she is a bando driver. Uh, good afternoon. Well, I guess it's good evening for you, Alicia. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you today? I'm fine. Um, and you're 11 years old? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how you got into racing? Uh, well, I've always drove my quad in the backyard, and I think that's pretty much how I got into racing. I just love the speed of the quad. Cool. And uh, what are you driving now? Uh, Bandoleros and go-karts. Bandoleros and go-karts. Well, there you go. No, wait. And Alicia, you also do something else that I noticed that uh, looking at your promo and stuff, you're a singer too, aren't you? Yes, sir. And and you and you also sing the national anthem at Langley Speedway too? Yes. Wow. And are you going to be out there? Are you, you know, the show is coming live, so we're going to, you're going to be there uh, coming in May. You'll be out there running with us, won't you? Yes, sir. Oh, we're looking forward to meet you. Are you going to be singing the national anthem? Uh, they won't, well, they won't allow me, um, when I race. Oh, oh, I get it. So if you're racing, you're racing, and if you're not racing, then you then get to you sing the sing. national anthem, right? Yeah. And, and and what else do you like to do? I saw something about did you like to design and sew and make clothes too, huh? Yes, sir. Wow. So how's your season going? Um, it's doing fine. I had some carburetor problems with my banjo, but I think it's all right now. Cool. And, and, you know, in studio here is we've got a uh, track champion from the Pro Stock Division, and she's moved up into the super late models. You want to say hi to Kaylee Barker? Hi. Hi. It's girl power right here. Yes. I, I might as well just shut up, you know. Uh, Alicia, do you have any questions for Kaylee? Um, yes. How fast do you go in the super late model? Um, at our track, it's probably around 115, 120th under the straightaway. Wow. Are you wanting to uh, get in a car like that, Alicia, sometime? Yes. Yes. Okay, um, your number is, isn't your, is your number 24? Yes, it's because of my birthday. Oh, because of your birthday, okay, I, uh, okay. I was thinking it was because of Jeff Gordon, so uh, do you like to watch NASCAR? Uh, yes. And who is your driver? Danica Patrick. Danica Patrick. Oh, okay. Nice. And uh, you also, uh, you have a brother, Dalton, right? Yes, ma'am. And he races uh, champ carts? Yes. Okay. Um, who's his uh, favorite uh, NASCAR driver? I'm not really sure. Who, what number does he have on his cart? 13. 13, okay. i got to ask you something, Alicia. Have you had redneck fries yet? Yes. Are they really good? Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. And the, yeah, and, and I think the reason she's had redneck fries is because doesn't a family member of yours make those at the Langley Speedway? Yes, ma'am, Uncle Skippy. Uncle, Uncle Skippy, oh, yes. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, tell Uncle That's Skippy. So awesome. Uh, t tell Uncle Skippy that we're ready for a big plateful of, of redneck fries when we get there. No, Alicia, tell me what is what is in redneck fries? Um, fries, of course, and I believe that it's barbecue and cheese. Oh my goodness gracious! Right. What do you think, Kelly? And then, and do you, good. yes, do you think they'd let me top it off with some coleslaw, though? Yes, ma'am. All right, then that'll work. Ron uh, Barker, are you ready for some redneck fries, man? Sounds yummy. Uh, I know, that's, 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 I've, I've been here since <laughs> I've been here since six o'clock in the morning. I'm telling you right now, I'm starving. If this little lady could ship me a plate full of redneck flies to the phone right now, I would just suck them down. You know? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get them shipped out here right now to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. We, we've got the, we've got a connection, so maybe, just maybe, there will be a way. I, I, maybe we could talk Uncle Skippy into packing us up some redneck fries and just some dry ice. Would you send them to us? <laughs> um, I can ask. Oh, there you <laughs> and, go. Oh, at least you can ask. That, there you at, go. Least, at least like she's that. willing to ask. Now, um, so, um... See now, I forgot what I was going to ask. Uh, uh, while you while you get I'm your memory, frying. your redneck frying. Now, uh, how are you doing in school? Um, I'm an honor roll student. Wow. So you and, sure. and are you? Uh, you're you're a good student too, aren't you, Kaylee? Yes. And see, yeah, have you noticed that a lot of these young drivers that are really, really, I mean, you know, their hearts into this racing, they're also 
really good uh, students in school. Well, let me ask you, let me ask you, and, and Ron Barker, now, if grades are a big thing in education, of course, that's primary number one, right? Well, Kaylee's first rule since the day she got her first car was she had to have straight A's or she does not race. How, how about you, Alicia? Did your mom and dad make you keep your grades up to keep racing? Yes, sir. There you go. See, there, there you know what? Do, do you and, and that's what I love about this sport, Scott. You you, you comment on this? Absolutely. I mean, you've got one. You, it has to mean something for kids. And just going to school, you know, do your great, you know, do your work, do your great. That's just not enough. And you've got to be something that they've got to have something to strive for. Right. And and racing is is a really good avenue for that, you know. And and and, and I like stick and ball sports too. I mean, uh, Alicia, do you uh, now? Do you do you like anything else besides uh, racing? Do you like football or basketball? Um, I, I like basketball. Do you? All right, Kaylee. How about you? Um, baseball, football. Baseball, football. There you go. All right, and and so, but you know, in stick and ball sports, you you. You find commitment, but I have not found commitment the way you find commitment in in. And I'm not knocking it. I mean, I I love football. I love NFL, and I love college basketball. I'm not too big on NBA. I like to watch college basketball. My wife, my wife is a pro football junkie. I mean, I mean, when the Cowboys are on TV, buddy, if they're not winning, this one right here is going off. Okay. Oh, I turn it off. And but I mean, I don't find commitment the way in other sports the way I find it in, in motorsports racing. You don't. And in motorsports, it takes a high level. If you want to be good in motorsports, it takes absolute commitment. It takes focus. It takes all these things that lend themselves to having good grades. And it also, again, it gives you that motivation. Now, Lisa, do you play any other, do you play any other sports at all? Or are you strictly a race car, a race car driver? Um, I'm pretty much a race car a race car driver. Um, I normally like go outside and play basketball at school. Right. So, uh, where would you like to see yourself uh, in the future with racing? I would love to go to NASCAR. It's always been a dream of mine to be the first first girl to win the Daytona 500. Wow. wow. That's that is a, that's a good goal. Well, that is a good goal. I mean, and of course you're you go ahead, Ron. Reaching high. There she is. She's the only way to go. Yeah, that's it. And I mean, and Kaylee, are are you in the same are you in the same thing or is is NASCAR your well, you're already in a sanction of NASCAR already, but is your next step uh, you know is the Spring Cup, is that where you want to see yourself at? No, I want to race in the trucks on Thor Sport Racing with Matt Crafton. Wow. Wow, wow. that's cool. So you want to go to you want to go to Camping World Truck Series, yes. right? Yes. Okay. That's cool. All right, there you go. Go ahead. Um, I was just going to ask her to shout out to, if she had any shout outs or uh, shout outs to sponsors. Alicia, do you want to say hi to anybody out there? And do you have sponsors on your card? If so, tell us who your sponsors are. Um... Rally's Big Belly Barbecue, of course, home of the Redneck Fries at Lindley Speedway, Amsoil, Aaron Goodman, Photography, G&G Cycle Work, Greg Merritt's for painting my car in Bando, my mom and dad, me, mom and papa, my new mom, Chick Chick, and a, a great and special shout out to my crew chief, Joseph Barron. Wow. That's cool. And how old are you, young lady? Eleven. She's awesome. Yeah, I, I, you know, this, this is just unbelievable. I mean, we talk to big, you know, we talk to adults in this sport all the time, and you know, one of the funnest things is to talk to these young, mm -hmm. these young, it is. young ladies, and I, and I never say young boys or, or young girls. I, call, I just call them young drivers. You know, I mean, it's just unbelievable and how well spoken you, that you are and everything else, and I, I see some, I see some big stuff coming out of uh, both of them out there i mean i really do so uh you're going to be at langley speedway when we get there may 10th right yes sir all right well we can't wait to meet you and we'll have you on the show live there with us too you come down and say hi to us okay okay all right anything else that you want to say to the listening audience have you got people listening back in langley today um 
I'm not really sure. Well, I, I can tell you this. We have gotten a bunch of hits off of people yeah. from Langley that are downloading into the phones and everything else there. And we can't wait to meet you. And, of course, our buddy Zach Lightfoot's there. And, and we, we're just looking forward to coming there and for the Racing for Hope Foundation. You know about that, right? Yes, sir. Uh, and we're going to raise some money for kids with cancer. And, you know... And no one likes that. No one likes to have it, uh, cancer to affect the children. And you're just a sweet little lady right there. And uh, we want to thank you for joining us today. And is there anything else that you'd like to say? Um, thank you. Oh, you're thank certain. You for, um, thank you for uh, all the things that um, you helped me, the opportunity. Hey, uh, before you go, Diane, did you have a website, Alicia? Uh, Potter's Motorsport on Facebook and uh, YouTube. Oh, well, there you go. So yeah, check we'll, them out. We'll have to check her out because we wanted to We wanted to actually put her YouTube uh, audio up of her singing the national anthem. But we're having a little technical difficulty with that today, so yeah. we'll, uh, we'll do it next time. Okay. We'll do it there, and we'll see you. We'll see you in about three weeks. We're coming to Langley, so we'll we'll see you then. Okay. Okay. Thank Th you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you, Alicia. Alicia Porter joining us uh, via the Taste Fire Hotline right there, and uh, we want to thank that young lady. It's something else, Kaylin Barker. Yes. I mean, she's she's got her sights. I've already said you want to win the Daytona. Would you like to win the Daytona 500? Yeah. 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 yeah I was going to say. Yeah, man. Yeah. You're gonna fit it in, right? <laughs> it's just unbelievable. I am totally amazed. Week after week after week, when you know, when you talk to, like I said earlier, when you talk to the adults, it's something. But to talk to these young kids, it's it's yeah. unbelievable. Well, you, like you were talking earlier about you know grades and stuff like that, and the difference between stick and balls sports and motorsports how often when you talk to somebody in a ball sport compared to how often you talk to somebody in a motorsport are they articulate are they respectful things like things of that nature you it, get that far more in motorsports at least in my experience ron a comment on this i mean you've been around the motorsports business for a while now i mean you, what do you see into it oh it's it's uh it's great to see the kids that grow up with the passion and and learn the correct way um, you know, I uh, I want to think that's that's why we've got the help behind us that we have now, such a, a great supporting cast behind us right now that uh, we could never have hoped for, and just because of she's shown the passion and that she wants to do this and and whatnot Un and, and put in the work to get there. It's unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, you know, let's go around the.